So, John knew about this ditch. And he had an idea that that ditch was kind of connected to a creek. And so, one day he just started pulling mattresses, washing machines, and things like that out of this ditch. More work he did, the better he felt. As a matter of fact, he started spreading the rumor of the magic waters of Ham Creek, the healing waters of Ham Creek. And over the years that he worked on that creek, it became recognized as one of the most important urban restorations in the country, all the whole country. Salmon come up that creek. Now this creek is just south of South Park. It's a beautiful place. There is an event there today as well. Um, and veterans are the ones that are working on that creek, which is something that John started before he passed from us. And he's, he was very proud of that. And one of the things that that does is in, an incredible help to people with PTSD is that they actually have something that they can work on and do. And so there's actually now a Veterans Corps that does work not just there, but in a lot of other places. And it helps them immensely to be able to do that. So that's kind of who John Beale was. And John Beale was like the godfather of all of us that are working on the river today. John's one of the first ones to do that work. And not just on Ham Creek, but the whole river. First one to do a river, river patrol on the river. The first one to do water enforcement and source control enforcement on the river. The first guy to actually start talking to businesses about what they were doing. And he was successful with that. When he first started, quick story, Delta Marine was probably one of the dirtiest businesses on the river. Ham Creek was right next to Delta Marine. So he started talking with them. How do we do this so that what I want to do and what you want to do is going to work? They listened. And they started putting their business inside, inside instead of outside. Redid everything on their lot. Today, Delta Marine is not just a company that cleans the bottoms of boats, which is kind of what they were doing. Delta Marine is one of the largest yacht builders on the West Coast. Huge yachts that they build. It's an incredible change, and we find that everywhere we work. If a business changes and a business cleans itself up, that business becomes more profitable. That's the fact. We've seen it over and over and over again. So, it's an important name for a great award. So I'm going to start and the first one I have here and this is a very important the person we talked about BECU, correct? The person who started that program is Mr. Mike Arizona. Come on up here. You don't just stand there. The award is actually um, a photograph that has his name on it, and it's got an eagle sitting next to the river. And this is a, a picture that's done by Tom Tom Reese, who's back over there, who has wonderful photographs of the river. One of the people that the river has changed his life. And so, thank you to Mike Arizona. Do you want to say something? No? Okay. <laughs> The next person has been working on a place called Rocks Hill Blog. Bog, bog, not blog, bog. Um, and bogs are probably some of the most important places for water and for wildlife and for all kinds of things relating to the river. And so the next person I'd like to get up here is Mr. Scott Blackstock.
Another hand. Now there's a lady here. Yes. Oh, she's, oh there she is. Okay. And very much a lady. Um, she's been active for 25 years um, in, in river stuff. Um, but she comes from Georgetown. And we're talking about four generations from the same house of her family. It comes from Georgetown. Um, and she's the type of person that we can call the day before and say, we have a city council hearing. We need to have you come because we need somebody from the community. And she's there. And she does a great job, and she always does. So this is an award for Marianne Clark. Thank everybody. I never even dreamed that I would be getting an award for something that is just a passion for me and my family. It's just wonderful to be out here with all you folks and know that somebody nominated me for an award. That has just been a passion for me for all these years. Thank you so very, very much, everybody. All right, now, the next award is um, is two people. We kind of put them together because they're almost always together. And one of the things that we have on these sites are sound stories. Okay, we come in maybe twice a year, but these are the people who actually are here maybe sometimes weekly, sometimes even more than that, to check on everything that's going on here and then guide us or what needs to be done here, and and that type of thing. And without that kind of guidance, we would be kind of just whacking weeds in the dark. And that's not a good thing, because we might not know what a weed is and what isn't a weed. And, yeah, because you know those bluebells? They just look so pretty. <laughs> we really have to take them out. Yes, yes, you do. Um... The sound stewards for T107, Suzanne Ward and Peg Peterson. <laughs> now the last award, uh, unfortunately she was not able to be here today, but you also heard... Dennis talk about her. She's incredibly active. She's done an, oh, oh, an immense amount of work, um, especially up in the city of Tukwila. Um, what's known as uh, Mother of the River Hill is a project that is um, near and dear to her heart. I just got a phone call from her a couple of days ago. She wants to start another native plant reserve someplace around here. She's working on all kinds of stuff and always has. Um, and her name is Brooke Alford. So, Brooke is getting an award today as well. Um, Brooke is, uh, is, has, has been involved for an awfully long time, and I'm so happy that she gets this award today. <laughs> 